L-Y-N-D-E-F Lindeth? No, Linden. It's the last letter is an F. Okay, so Linden. That's right. Alright, cool. Um, so I have a... Uh, I have quite a few problems I want to address. My gamer tag is I-N... Hey, uh, what's up, I want to ask you to spell that gamer tag. I didn't try to get it. What's up, sir? Yeah, it's I as in Igloo, N as in Nancy, 8 as in the number 8, and then K as in Kangaroo. Alright, so I have a bunch of stuff gone that's gone wrong since 2016 with you guys. Um, so if you look at some of the history, there's a lot of tickets, and uh, most of them are legitimate tickets. Some of them might be like me um, talking to you guys on a different personal level, but a lot of them are ignored inquiries, or whatever you want to call them. You know, uh, you guys close out my tickets, and you guys... Um, you guys ignore me when I do discuss what I want to discuss with you guys. So I'm a customer of 13 plus years, right? So I, I actually don't think I deserve that type of uh, treatment, nor does anybody. But if I'm a customer of 13 plus years and I've spent $1,500 or more, well, definitely over $1,500 with you people. Uh, you know, I'm a 26-year-old adult male and I know better than to believe that an international corporation will overpower me. And in the form of discrimination, I will not accept it. And um, in the form of being ignored by my own customer service community, I definitely won't accept that either. So uh, back to what I was saying is that I've had issues with you guys since 2016, since the Xbox 360. So right now I'm just basically going to let you know um, all of the things as quickly as possible. If you could just hear me out, maybe take some notes if possible. I've already explained all of this to you guys over the phone and over uh, chat support, but it seems like I keep getting ignored. So maybe I'm talking to the right person right now. Or maybe I have enough time in my hands today to go ahead and explain the entire situation thoroughly. So maybe you guys can conduct an investigation on some of the wrong uh, handling of my account. Because there, it seems like there's a lot of suspicious activity. And, you know, some people might look at it as like, you know, let's say a mediocre or, or like an average novice to the video game community. They, they would just get walked over in these types of aspects. They, they wouldn't even care about half of the things that I'm concerned about or like in the form of discrimination they would kind of overlook it or just say hey I'm gonna go buy a PlayStation but I'm more than that so I, I don't know I have to address every little thing that you guys are doing wrong in regards to me personally and then go ahead and branch it out into a general perspective and you know uh, a gaming community perspective you don't you don't want to let your gaming community down nor do you want to let down the globe or the national uh, community that you serve and you know I'm, I'm assuming Microsoft was made in America so I'm an American and I'm a customer of 13 plus years with you guys so not that that means like I get you know one up on everybody but uh you know I'm a loyal customer of seven uh, 13 plus years with nine concurrent uh, I, I think I'm saying the right word nine concurring years on this particular account so um, so so I, I really don't appreciate a lot of the failed service or some of the discrimination or some of you know how the tickets keep getting closed out but none of them are actually resolved I think that's very um, unprofessional so anyways back to what I was saying is okay so in 2016 I was banned from the ambassador program I was permanently suspended from there so I can't even go to the website I can't even talk to the ambassadors anymore I probably deserve that I think I was self-promoting or I was promoting for an artist or something so I probably deserve that but I should have also gotten an email about that and told you know you guys should have told me why I was suspended and especially why I was permanently suspended um, okay so that's that's out of the way so I'd like to know why I was suspended and why it was a permanent suspension and you know all it takes is one single email and it is your mistake by not notifying me so therefore you should follow up with the complaint of this you know and then also tell me why right because it's your job to notify people why they got suspended and you you guys keep saying it's xbox enforcement's job but xbox enforcement doesn't even have a two-way contact so even if i were to ask them they'd probably ignore me you know through a case review and they do they do tend to suspend me a lot and that has happened a lot since 2016 yeah I do trash talk but I don't think that they need to monitor my account all the time and know every little bit of detail of my account or who I am as a person I'm a white male in America and I might have Christian background but that's no one's business right so my name is Nate and I'm a gift of God in the biblical religion okay so I have I have like 
ancestors behind me and I have religious beliefs that will probably, you know, you know I, have, I have religious standing in life without even needing to be religious. And there are Christ Christians or religious people in general that will stand up for my rights in certain aspects, right? And uh, if this is a, an international or a national community, you guys should not have so much power over me or so much, put so much burden into my life, so much, so much, you know, agitation into my life. Um, if I spend a majority of my lifetime on a, on a video game console or within the video game society, I feel like I should be, you know, free of discrimination and uh, uh, free of, uh, you know, bullying and, and harassment, especially by my own customer service people. So now on to the next thing. Uh, uh, well, firstly, before the ambassador suspension, I had a profile visibility issue. So the profile visibility issue was um, basically my profile wasn't showing up to the public so I had to figure try to figure that out with figure that out with you guys and you guys ended up trying to tell me that I, I you guys wanted me to make a second account to keep checking you know the results of the changes of settings I don't want to go to a second account and then check my account you know that's that's a bird that's too much time that's a burden and um, so eventually after you guys kept trying to get me to do that I said no thanks and I was like never mind then you know if my profile isn't gonna be visible it's not gonna be visible screw it I'm not gonna make a second account and go out of my way and do all this extra stuff so I let that slide I ignored it and then I joined the ambassador program and then I got suspended so anyways so those are two instances where I, I feel like they you know you guys shouldn't close or resolve your tickets if they're not actually resolved. Even if I'm saying, oh, I don't want to make a second account, that's not a logical request for you guys to ask. For somebody with, you know, you know, whatever issues I might have in my life, or, you know, maybe I have a multiple personality disorder of some sort or something, you're trying to get me to make a second account, that's kind of reverse of what I'm supposed to be, you know, I'm supposed to be a representative of my own kind. Yeah, we're doing troubleshooting, but it doesn't mean I have to make a second account or you guys have to expect that of me. That's crazy. So anyways, back to the list of issues. So that was two of them. And that was in about 2016, right? So then, um, you know, it just seemed like the Xbox enforcement team started to monitor me a little bit more after that. And that's fine. That's great. But uh, I'm not a terrorist. So, uh, so I think that that's about it for that. I think uh, Xbox enforcement should not know so much information on each individual, but that's my opinion. It's your policy, but it's my opinion. And uh, people wouldn't be discriminated against if if your Xbox enforcement team didn't even know their gender. Like, you can't look at my gamer tag. you can't look at nothing. All you can look at is the reports and the people who got reported, and you can't see their first and last name you can't see you know their game even their gamer tag could give away like hey i'm a football fan and then that person hates football fans or hates football so or whatever it is so so i i feel like xbox enforcement has too much pull they have too much uh, information on people um they could hate my gender they could hate my my name nate and how it's a biblical has a biblical meaning behind it you know i'm a gift of god so maybe someone just hates christians and they just don't like me because they know i nate k is a christian or a potential christian right so I feel like Xbox enforcement should have less info, right? So that's that's my opinion on that. Um, so uh, also, I was banned from the Xbox forums and then also the Microsoft forums, but that was only because I was sharing a hashtag called hashtag free i 8 k gold and that's basically a hashtag I made in representation of the Microsoft Rewards program to teach people that you can get free Xbox Live for life. And it's pretty simple. You go to account.microsoft.com slash rewards and then you get to start earning points and then eventually you can spend those points on whatever you want. You can get Xbox Live gift cards. You can get, uh, uh, excuse me, you can get Xbox Live memberships. You can get gift cards. You can donate to charities and you can enter sweeps, sweepstakes. And I noticed that recently you guys switched the Xbox Rewards over to the Microsoft Rewards so now it's a combination. That's awesome. That's interesting. But um, I shouldn't get banned from the forums just for posting a hashtag. And so, you know, when I got the Microsoft and the Xbox suspensions, I never got information. I never, you know, I never got notified. I never got emailed any information regarding the suspensions or the bans. And so, if I'm going to get permanently suspended from the the community, I should at least know why. And if I, if if the only reason I could really think of is hashtag free on 8K gold, what is that? How is that wrong for me to share a hashtag in relation to your Microsoft Rewards program? That's bizarre to me. So I would like an explanation for that or something, or you know what I mean, like a, an actual precise reason for that. If not, that's cool too. I don't mind. I can overlook all of this and you know and go about my days fine. So I've been talking to you for nine minutes, and I hope I hope you're hearing me out. So um, then then I ran into the issue where uh, my Xbox all of a sudden started 
uh, deleting game clips by itself. Um, I don't really want to get in too, into too much detail about that because you guys should know by now that it's kind of messed up. But um, so uh, it, it initially, I initially discovered it on 4-5-2018. Uh, I'm, I, I looked back into the history of my game clips and I noticed that I was missing two clips going all the way back to um, March 17th or March 19th. So, and I knew that I had clips going back to like January or February. So therefore I was missing January and February. Uh, and that's a lot of game clips because I could, I could easily make 250 game clips within one week. I, I could probably make 250 game clips in one single day, but I just measured my, my the amount of things that I could record uh, a couple weeks ago, and I, I recorded about 250 clips within one single week, within seven days. So with that said, if I'm missing two full months of clips, that's that's at least two. That that could be a potential 2,000 clips that I that went missing off of my console with no explanation and no uh, no investigation. You guys kind of ignored it, and to this day, you know, I'm, I'm talking about something from April, right? Because I just said four or five, 2018. That's April 5th. That's and it's still unresolved. And you guys are still, you know, I, I still, I think my Xbox is still, um, uh, uh, you know, faulty, and it's still deleting game clips uh, if I if I store them for too long. But it's a one terabyte hard drive. I should be able to store my game clips for as long as I want to, or whatever. And that's why I got a one terabyte hard drive, is so it could handle a lot of uh, storage. And so, for some reason, my game clips keep on dis uh, automatically disappearing, deleting, whatever you want to call it. And I, I don't know. I, I didn't know what to do, so I had to go and buy a uh, external hard drive. External hard drive, which is what I wanted to not do, because I'm a poor person, and it sucks being poor. So I did anyways, and now I'm, I'm kind of managing it a little bit easier. But if I can't even like. You know, if I have to sit there and do weekly maintenance and, and do do all the transferring, it's kind of it's it's reverse of why I have a one terabyte hard drive. It's like having a one terabyte hard drive that only guarantees you know a week's worth of storage. Like you gotta you gotta transfer your stuff within a week. That doesn't make sense. So, anyways, that's crazy. I don't know what's going on with that. You guys kept on telling me of uh, several different things through several several different contacts. And yes. Through a lot of these contacts, I have been rude in some manners, but at the same time, it's like it's like you guys are sometimes playing dumb with me. Therefore, I say, hey, stop being dumb, stop playing dumb. But anyways, I try my best not to be uncivil with you people. And so now that's that. I feel like that's that's bizarre and that's still unresolved. But um, I can handle it. As I just explained, I'm handling it fine. But I had to spend money, and I didn't want to spend money. So, um, so now. Now we're now we're on to uh, a mixer suspension that I didn't deserve. So um, I'm sure you guys know all about that. Uh, I don't know for sure. I don't know if you guys are really taking notes or whatnot, but I'll just go ahead and explain it. So basically, um, on on five five two thousand eighteen at five thirty in the morning, uh, which is May fifth, right? May fifth two thousand eighteen at five thirty in the morning, I was on I was in a in a mixer chat room, and this guy started to um, I basically I play Grand Theft Auto. He plays Grand Theft Auto, and his name his mixer is mixer.com slash monster underscore f8. So his gamer tag is monster underscore uh, monster space f8. But the monster part is there's a three instead of an e. So anyways, that's his gamer tag and his mixer uh, URL. And so anyways, I entered his chat room and I said, hey, I'm level this, and what level are you? And he said, oh, I don't care about level, and he started trash talking me immediately. And so. Me and him started to argue a little bit, and then one of his chat room uh, people, I don't know if it was a moderator or just one of his friends, was starting to argue with him. So it was a two versus one argument or discussion, and um, and uh, eventually he ended up threatening me with ISIS. He threat he said, I know, I know phone, I know. I have connections to ISIS. I that's they're one phone call away. He says. So I felt like, wow, okay. I said, oh, you rep ISIS, as in you, oh, you represent ISIS. And so he, he responds and says, oh, it was a joke, I was trolling, and he kept on explaining, oh, they're dead anyways, there's no ISIS. So he started reading an article about how we've done a final airstrike on ISIS and they're gone and blah, 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 blah. And so I was like, okay, this guy's crazy. He keeps talking to himself about, you know, how he, sh he, he was just joking about it, but realistically he was threatening me with a terrorist group. And that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a real national threat. That's a real... Uh, cybersecurity threat. That's a real Xbox enforcement, you know, Xbox security threat. So I reported him, and you know, 
I also reported it to Mixer, and for some reason Mixer wanted to give me a hard time about that. So that's I, I don't I don't they kept on saying oh you need to give me a timestamp or whatever. They 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 were just being very uh, unprofessional in my in in my idea of uh, a national threat. Or whatnot, you know, it's it's a threat. Somebody threatened me, so they didn't take it as a serious threat. And then you add a terrorist organization to it. That's a terrorist threat. That's a cybersecurity threat. That's an Xbox threat. That's a national threat. Whatever you want to call it. That's all threatening stuff and abusive and blah 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 blah. He still has his mixer account, but I don't. Ten days later, for some reason, I get suspended. Right? I get suspended because I was teasing somebody. And just think about it. If I was if I was threatened by somebody and I took it slightly seriously, like oh maybe I'll get killed tomorrow, you gotta understand that ten days after us after uh, that threat, I felt you know like sleepless. I felt tired. I felt scared. So you know why wouldn't I be teasing people or joking around with people or or whatnot? So anyways, I was in this guy named uh, Lux the Gamer. That's his uh, uh, Lux the Gamer UK. That's his gamer tag. So Mixer.com/slash Lux the Gamer UK. So, um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, we were discussing stuff because he was role playing, he was also playing Grand Theft Auto, and so I told him go kill cops, and he's, yeah, I kept saying go kill cops, I kept saying it, just, you know, not spamming, but I kept saying it over time, and he got angry to the point where he ended up banning me, or, uh, muting me, so, uh, one thing led to another, and he ended up banning me completely or something from his, his, his mixer, uh, chat room. So then I went on multiple accounts and I kept on saying, Hey, well, guess what? You can't spell breaking. Ha ha ha. Because his, his chat room bot, his mixer chat room bot said you were, you know, such and such was banned for breaking the rules, but it spelled breaking as in B R A K B R A K I N G. Therefore breaking, you know, you know, when you break the rules, it's not B R A K E it's B R E A K. So I was like, Oh, that's hilarious. You play Grand Theft Auto, but you can't even spell breaking. And so I started to call him out on that on multiple different mixer accounts. I have a total of five accounts on my Xbox. Therefore I have five, you know, five mixer accounts. So I took the opportunity to go ahead and rub it in his face that he couldn't spell breaking. And I don't think that's very, uh, that, I don't think that's very like wrong at all. I, I was teaching him that he misspelled something. I was telling him, I was reminding him that he misspelled something in his bot. He didn't even say anything. He didn't even, I wasn't even saying anything in direct to him in regards to how he misspelled something. Cause if somebody, you know, it just because his bot misspelled something doesn't mean that he misspelled it. Or, you know, if there's a person, uh, a moderator of his channel that changed the bot to say something, that person is the person responsible for misspelling breaking, not even him. So therefore, it could have been a mix-up of who who even typed it into the bot to say it anyway. So, you know, when I'm sitting there making fun of a guy because he misspelled breaking, but it wasn't him, it was the bot, and then the bot could have been controlled by a different person. That is crazy for me to get permanently suspended for that. And, um... I, I don't know what kind of power hungry people are working at Mixer, but that's crazy, man. That's not right for me to have an international corporation overpowering me and telling me I don't have my rights or my freedoms or my opportunities because I do. And that's unfair. I don't care. If you guys want to keep the suspension, that's fine. But that's crazy because 10 days prior to that, this guy, this guy threatens me with a terrorist organization and he doesn't even get suspended at all. He, he still has his Mixer account and I don't. So just compare the two right there that I just explained to you and I didn't lie one bit. And, and just understand that that's unfair. That's so unfair. That's unbalanced. And like I said, I felt threatened for my life. I was sleepless. I was tired. So some of the teasing that I did put out there and, and, and whatnot, it wasn't exactly going to be 100% civil or, or, or wasn't going to be 100% like uh, uh, logical all the time. Or, and not to bring out any excuses, but that's, that's crazy for me to feel threatened for my life. And then 10 days later, all of a sudden I get suspended, like for some slight teasing and the teasing wasn't even directly directed at that person. That's crazy to me. So, so anyways, that, I feel like that should definitely be, uh, looked into. And then when I, oh, okay. So when I contacted Mixer, they, they, uh, I told, I told this, the representative, her name is Queen Jojo, all one word, Queen Jojo. I said to her, I said, you're uneducated. And the reason I said she's uneducated is because she wasn't the person who, she didn't absorb all of the information. She did not understand, you know, the 10, ten that 10 days before I got, I got, um, I got suspend, uh, uh, somebody threatened me with ISIS, but that, you know, not that that's very relevant, but she didn't, she didn't fully absorb the entire situation is what I was saying by she was uneducated. She didn't fully understand why I got suspended, who was talking trash to me. She doesn't understand the full scenario. So... Alright, hold on a second, can you just hold on a bit please? Um, basically, you've given me quite a lot of issues 
right? Yeah, yeah, and I'm not done yet, but uh, if you want me to slow down, I can slow down. No, actually, actually, the the enforcement team has nothing to do with an ambassador program suspension, and um, even in and even with that said, I still need to know why I got suspended. Yeah, so how do I do that? That's that's impossible. You know you're lying to me right now. So I'm going to continue on. Are, are you done interrupting me? I'm sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So basically, basically th this, is, this is the conclusion is that, you know, I, I explained it all to you, but this is the conclusion is that, you know, I didn't deserve the mixer su suspension and they all of a sudden have blocked my email. So I can't even contact them via email anymore. And every time I come to Microsoft or Xbox support, I ask you guys to look into that suspension and the handling of my, you know, the handling of the ticket or the suspension. And you guys always tell me, oh, well, you have to contact Mixer. Well, I can't contact Mixer because they all of a sudden have blocked my emails. So literally all five of my accounts where I have, you know, I've tried to email them from all five different accounts, even, even, even admitting to, even admitting to, you know, ban evasion because they call it ban evasion. Uh, when I switched to a different account, they called that ban evasion. I wasn't evading ban at all. It's just, you know, freedom of movement. It's freedom of online interaction. But uh, anyways, that uh, that suspension kind of kind of limits my opportunities within the mixer community, within the online gaming community, within the live streaming world. The, you know, every every part of every pretty much, you know, gaming is the modern day everything the modern day forums the modern day everything so if you're taking away my mixer streaming privileges for something that i did where i was just teasing somebody and then it wasn't even me teasing a person it was teasing a robot that was con that was talking in a chat room and that that robot could have been controlled by somebody other than lux the gamer uk that i feel like that's a little um that's a little suspicious uh considering 10 days before that i had reported a terrorist threat and you go you go to that guy's um you go to you go to that guy's mixer right now. He's not suspended at all. He's not permanently banned, and he got away with threatening me with uh with the terrorist organization through a microphone on the mixer streaming platform with as a mixer partner. So I don't know why nobody has looked into this, but I've even reached out to national security. I've reached out to the Secret Service, the CIA, the Better Business Bureau. I've reached out to the FBI. I've reached out to every na I've I've reached out to every national security. I've I've reached out to NATO. I've reached out to every place in regards to this, and it seems like nobody seems to want to help the situation, and it's kind of suspicious. Um, you guys are an international corporation, therefore you should act like one. You can't sit here and control me like that. That is crazy. And for me to be a 13-year customer or 13 plus years as a customer, it's like I don't think uh, I don't think ignoring all of my tickets and being rude to me and making me re uh, re explain myself all the time, asking me the same questions all the time. I don't think that's very professional. So yeah, I would like that addressed. And uh, in relation to any uh, Xbox enforcement or anything like that. That's fine. If you want me to reach out to whoever, whatever, I will. Because guess what? I have reached out to the Xbox ambassadors. I went to their Xbox Live gamer tag. I've asked them about that uh, ambassador program suspension. They ignored me. I reached out to them through the chat with a second account. I went to a different account and actually contacted the Xbox ambassadors and asked multiple people to help to ask to answer my question about the ambassador program suspension. And nobody want. But you guys told me to do that. You guys said go contact the Xbox ambassadors. They'll have the answer. And I went and did that and I got ignored. So now I'm telling you that all of my tickets, I want to say, you know, 80 to 90% of my tickets have been ignored. They've been, you know, flagged as resolved, but they're not resolved. And everything that I just explained to you has been recorded. I, I recorded it on my own computer. This time I'm, I'm really going to go ahead and take it to another level if you guys don't help me. I'm literally going to publish this video and share it to the Better Business Bureau. And I really hope that you guys really clean up your act in regards to helping people or, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, making a big push within the gaming community. Uh, I don't think Bill Gates would be very happy with this poor customer service experience. This is a one-star rating I'm giving you over the over the past two-year, three-year time span, and and, and that's, that's really how I feel, you know? And, um, you know, I wouldn't cuss at you guys if you guys wouldn't ask me the same questions, or I wouldn't cuss or, or cuss around you guys, because all I do, you know, you guys sit there and you, you get mad at me in the chat sports, you sit there, if I say fuck or shit, you guys say, oh, well, you send a paragraph saying, oh, well, you're being abusive and threatening, we're going to end the chat. Me saying fuck or ass or shit is not abusive or threatening, that's just me saying a cuss word and venting in my own way. And if it's, and if you don't want to see that word, you could say that. But it's not, it's not, it's not me saying fuck you, or it's not me saying, you know, you're a piece of shit, it's me saying, what the fuck, this is bullshit, I don't think this is fair. So, I don't care what it is, how you guys want to portray me, but I just explained the entire situation over the past two, three years, and, and it's now recorded onto my computer. I will publish it to my own YouTube publicly if I have to, to go ahead and show you guys, like, sh show other people and show you guys what kind of representation you are representing yourself. Because that's crazy to me, how, and, and how you just answered me and you said, oh, Xbox enforcement, but there's no way you can even talk to Xbox enforcement unless you have to file for a case review. So you're telling me, go get suspended so I can talk to Xbox, Xbox uh, enforcement? I don't understand. So, on top of all of this, guess what I've done? I've created three hashtags. I've created hashtag MSR, hashtag FreeI8KGold, hashtag XMSR, and all those represent the Microsoft Rewards Program, and... You know, as a result of all of this, I've actually made a hashtag called hashtag fuck mixer. And I don't, I'm going to take it down if I get unsuspended. But chances are, no one's going to hear me out. I don't know. But it's crazy how I'm limited opportunities in life. I'm already poor as it is. So how are you going to take a live stream mixing, you, you know, mixer opportunity from me when that's all I have? That's crazy to me. So uh, as I conclude this, um, I know you're just going to say some bull crap. So I'm going to end it at this. What's your name again? Linden? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Yes, my name is Linda. Yeah, did, you, did you write it down the first time when you got me? No, I didn't, I didn't write it down, but I'm just recording you. I want you to say it a little bit more clearly. Could you spell it out? All right, so we can, uh, just to let you know that we're not really No, nah, that's fine. I don't care. You don't got to let me know anything. I'm asking you to go ahead and spell your name out. Linden, what? How do you spell it? L-Y-N-D-E-N? That's right. Linden, L I uh, uh, L Y N D E N. Okay, awesome. Well, hey man, uh, I don't mean to interrupt you or anything, but I just feel like you guys aren't gonna help me. So, uh, what's the ticket number for this? All right. So, uh, could you tell me the service request number, please? I would just like to t uh, jot this down, please. All right. So the, the service request number has not yet been generated because I haven't really gotten a chance to assist you with anything. So. Oh, that's fine. But you're gonna email me my service request number, right? Well, it will need to be generated first, so you will get an email with it. Okay, so what I just asked you is what you... That, so that's exactly what's going to happen, is I'm going to get emailed a service request number? No, the, the service request number, it will be in the email. It just has not yet been generated, because we need to figure out... Right, so you're going to email me the service request number is what I asked, and what? what's your answer? Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. Yeah, they will be emailed to you. All, all right, right, perfect. I really appreciate it, and uh, just make sure you yeah. send the email, because... Uh, oh, sorry, I don't know if my, I just sounded muffled. I had my thumb over the uh, mouthpiece. But um, just to make sure, um, you guys have been very, very uh, unprofessional in, um, you know, in, in the form of not responding to me, and when I do ask you to email me, or when you guys do claim that you're going to email me, I never get emailed. So uh, can you just ensure that I will get an email? Yeah, you will get an email. After each call, you should get an email with a case number. Yeah, but that's I can't have a guaranteed uh, it should happen. I, I need a guaranteed I will get an email. No, I'm telling you that you'll get an email. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks. Because, like, you guys really don't, like, I, you guys say, oh, we'll email you, and then it never happens. So, you know, we'll email you within four, 24 to 48 hours, 24 to 36 hours, and it never happens, especially as of lately. Um, but, yeah, like I said, the past two, three years have been, have, have been very troublesome to me, 
And uh, I don't, I don't even care. You know, I don't want reimbursement. I don't want compensation. But I do want you guys to thoroughly investigate how my account has been handled and um, how I've been treated, and and maybe lift some of the suspensions that are uncalled for. As far as I'm concerned, the the forums are dead. You know, Xbox and Microsoft forums are dead. Modern day times are taking over those forums anyway. So I don't care. But in regards to every other thing, I think I think I do deserve some uh, explanations or, um, you know, reasoning for. That, you know, I, I need some exp explanation for the reasons of why I was suspended or banned or permanently suspended or banned. And you know, it's an inter you guys are an international or national corporation. You should definitely act like one.